Hi everyone, today we are going to study the layer architecture of Internet of Things. Basically, the architecture of Internet of Things is divided into different layers. So, we are going to study what these layers are. Starting with the first layer that is the perception layer. This is the first layer of the IoT architecture. In the perception layer, number of sensors and actuators are used to gather useful information like temperature, moisture content, intruder detection, sounds, etc. So, basically the perception layer of IoT uses sensors and actuators. Sensors are used to capture the data and actuators are used to process that captured data. And then together they gather useful information like what is the temperature, what is the moisture content, what is if there is an intruder, uh, then the intruder detection, various kinds of sounds etc. So, these are these all things are detected by the sensors and actuators then process them. The main function of this layer is to get information from surroundings and to pass data to another layer so that some actions can be done based on that information. So, the whole uh, sole task of the perception layer is to ba basically get an input or get information from the surroundings in which the sensors are placed and then that information captured by the sensors is passed on to the another layer which on the based of that uh, which uh, on the basis of that information or that input data can do some actions. The second layer is the network layer in the IoT. As the name suggests, it is a connecting layer. When I say network layer, that means the layer that provides you with networking. So, we can say that it is the connecting layer between the perception layer and the mid middleware layer. Now, the middleware layer is just below the network layer and the perception layer is just above the network layer. So, the network layer being the connecting layer basically connects the perception layer and the middleware layer. It gets the data from perception layer and passes that data to the middleware layer using some networking technologies like 3G, 4G, UTMS, Wi-Fi, infrared etc. This is also called the communication layer because it is responsible for communication between perception and middleware layer. So, this is the layer which is connecting the perception layer and the middleware layer. This is the layer which is providing you with the communication between the perception layer and the middleware layer. All the transfer of data done securely keeping the obtained data confidential is done by the network layer. So, you can conclude that the network layer's only task is to take the data from the perception layer and transfer it to the middleware layer and hence provide a communication between the perception layer and the middleware layer. Now, let us look at the middleware layer. So, the middleware layer has some advanced features like storage, computation, processing, action taking capabilities. Now, whatever data, whatever collected data is passed on from the perception layer to the network layer and then network layer passes on this data to the middleware layer. Now, middleware layer done, does some actions on this particular data. First of all, it uh, provides storage for that data, then it provides computation for data wherever it is required for the processing of data and then it has action take, taking capabilities that based on the action, based on the data collected by the sensor, this uh, action should be taken. It stores all data set and based on device's address and name, it gives its appropriate data to that device. It can also take decisions based on calculations done on data set obtained from sensors. So, whatever data or the collection of data called the data set is obtained from sensors, this particular layer that is the middleware layer can do calculations on that data obtained from the sensors and also take some decisions based on those calculations. Now, the 
fourth layer of IoT architecture is your application layer. The application layer manages all application process based on information obtained from middleware layer. So, whatever information it receives from the layer immediately above it that is the middleware layer, the application layer basically manages all that application process based on that information. So, this application involves sending emails, activating some alarms whenever an action has to be taken based on the data obtained from the sensors, security system, turn on or off a device, smart watch, smart agriculture, etc. So, the applications basically that you are seeing is the job of the application layer. Then the fifth and the final layer is the business layer. Now, you know the success of any device does not depend upon technologies used in it, but how it is being delivered to its consumers. Of course, technology pay, plays a major role. The first thing that comes into play is your technology, but then if it is not delivered properly to the consumers, it would be a failure. So, obviously, the success not only just depends upon the technologies used, but also how it is delivered to the consumers. Business layer does these tasks for the device that is it involves making flow charts which are in a way which is understandable even to a layman who is not well versed with technology, graphs, analysis of results and how device can be improved etc. All these things are provided by the business layers. So, these are the five layers of the IoT architecture.